47 really simple things that brought me joy this week. Of course there were more, including waking each morning, but I thought I would share these. Simple things like changing out a mirror for an oil painting over our meal chest and liking it. This is Horatio Haskell and he's one of our adopted ancestors. Welcome to my channel, Linda Smith Davis's New England Fine Living. And today we're going to be noticing and enjoying small moments of joy each day. What simple things brought you joy this week? Here are 46 more of mine. I'm trying out a new French press. Many of you have liked the French press that I used before, and I saw this one on Amazon. I'm giving it a try. I want to make sure the handle doesn't get too hot. The one I have is this one, and it has a little different shape, but the size is about the same. When I read the size online about this, I really thought it was going to be tiny, but I gave it a go. Um, I forget what it was priced. It was over $50, but I really love the styling of it. I'm letting the water brew the coffee right now for four minutes, and then I will press it. I'm going to put the top on so it can stay in there too, so I'm not going to press it yet. I'm looking at paint colors for the house, but now I'm getting distracted looking at what pretty paint colors match my tea cup here, my coffee cup. It's gonna be a coffee cup because I'm drinking coffee from it. All right, I think we're ready to press. Like I said, I wanna make sure this handle's not too hot, not at all, nice and cool. something I'm doing for myself this morning. Beautiful soft rain. I grabbed myself a coffee. It's still very early and I'm going to sit back in bed, journal. I'm just letting Willow out. But this is something I have not done yet. Enjoyed the sound of the rain. Just laying in bed and she does not, she's not going to stay out. <laughs> the noise and the background hum that you hear in the next segment is a whole house fan that we have. Our electrician is actually putting in a separate switch for me so that I can shut it off when needed. The noise actually annoys me. I have oversensitivity and stimulation issues due to my ADHD and um, sometimes it's very overwhelming for me. We have some really major storms coming in so I decided to save some of the pennies and put some bouquets together tonight. I have my pinks, my whites. I grab some roses from bushes. Uh, let's see here. This, I brought a bunch of this in to make some arrangements. Uh, I love the smell. This almost like soap. I just, it's so clean and refreshing. I wish I could bottle that scent. 
Well, I guess it is soap. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm gonna play with these and put them in my bedroom, put them in the dining room, and save them from the, the pummeling rain and thunder and lightning that I think is coming our way. I'm sure there'll be plenty available tomorrow because I have a lot still in the marshmallow stage, but I'm just gonna put these out. So this one is so quirky. Look at this peony. I have not had these before. So I'm gonna be looking this one up. It's so cute. It's like it has a pom-pom at the top. And I love the pink and the white. And then I have pure whites. So pretty. I've got more to put in here. I'm also gonna be using a white milk jar that we found in the woods digging. And I'll use it for some of the smaller flowers. I have some that look similar, but look at this beautiful one with all the ruffles. And then with the pink, and once again, our little quirky one here. We have a little spider I need to bring outside. So, very pretty. My goodness, this one is huge. Absolutely stunning. It almost looks fake. I'll place these tomorrow. It's getting a little bit dark out. I'm gonna settle down, get myself maybe a cocktail. Ben is traveling right now for a business trip, so I get to relax, watch whatever shows I want. And this one I think is gonna go on my bedside table just because the smell is so refreshing. Doesn't that leaf look fake? Very pretty, I think. Maybe this is gonna be Mother's Nature way of getting down a lot of the pollen that's falling from the pine trees. But just in case the weather's really bad, I need to show you my family peonies, how well they're doing. And I did cut quite a few to bring in. I have a little personal story I'd like to share. So in the past, I have always mentioned that the family peony, I always wanted to carry the peony in my wedding bouquet and it opened up the morning of our wedding. And I didn't think I'd have it to carry. And this morning is also our six year anniversary and they were all closed. Ben and I are sitting outside with a glass of wine and I'm like, oh, if there was only one open for our anniversary. And look, she opened up just for us. And we are two weeks behind plant-wise schedule in our new location. So the fact that our peony opened up for our wedding anniversary just put a huge smile on my face. I think that's so special. So thrilled at how many bloomed. Can't even imagine how many times I've moved this. Oh gosh, here it comes. We're hours away from the thunder and lightning, but this is just the start. This is when I am so glad we took down those big, tall, looming pines. I'm sure we'll lose some more. I can, we have some dead ones in the woods that are going to come down. Hard to tell, but I just called some cows out of the woods and they're following. <laughs> Hope they don't think it's feeding time. <laughs> we'll get to see them here. Hi.
tree jumps at me, you'll hear me scream. Because now I'm about four feet from him. Another thing I painted the other day, I forgot to mention in my last video, I painted this black foam that was completely chewed by squirrels. I'm in the side garden right now and I have decided to do some journaling out here. I do love to grab my coffee and come out here when the bugs allow and right now it is cool enough. There are no mosquitoes, there's nothing attacking me and it's absolutely refreshing out here and slowly the sun is going to be reaching me and it'll be reaching the peonies. And one thing I wanted to show how I stake up my peonies, I do like to put stakes all the way around the peonies, which is not new. I also put a stake in the middle and then I zigzag my string throughout the peonies to help them stand up on their own so they don't just flop and create one big lump. I'm not the first to do that, but it is something I like to do. So this particular one is doing great and I'm you know I can probably zoom in on the inside here you can see one of the strings there that's zigzagging so it's like a web but I'm guessing within the half hour I'm gonna be in full Sun and it's around 730 right now
I should subtract one because this on the other hand I could not let go. When I saw one of the strips was placed wrong, my dyslexia took hold, I literally froze. I don't always see patterns and lines correctly, so I couldn't figure out how to fix it quickly. I just stared at it. This had to be a huge mistake, right? Do this without my shadow getting on them okay guys go away go <laughs> um, i wanted to get more lemon verbena this gets nice and big and i really enjoyed drying the lemon verbena for making tea i bought some lemongrass now i have had lemongrass in water before at um, resorts and sometimes they put them also in with their like cucumbers and water is one thing i was mentioning and then they also have done it when they give you a cool cloth. It's soaked in lemongrass water, which was a really nice scent. So I'm gonna have to make sure I mark this well. So in the future, I don't think it's just grass and cut it. So I'm gonna have something made up for that. And then in here, I also have some lemon thyme, which I will be planting as well. So I thought it'd be fun to have, actually the lemon thyme's inside. This is part of the lemon verbena, silly me. Um, so it's going to be fun to have just like a little section of lemon herbs. I took off the window boxes just to give you a better view. I like it both ways. Actually, I think I like it without the window box. In number 47, sharing my thoughts with you with the hopes I'm inspiring you to find your own version of fine living, no matter how simple or grand that may be, no matter where you live. Mm -hmm.